welcome to another Disneyland Paris vlog. Yeah. We are currently Back in... in Walt Disney Studios. Yes. For another day in Avengers Campus. Yeah. That's not all we're doing today, but we are eating at Pim's Kitchen, which I'm excited about. So you're hungry. Yeah. Um, we've not eaten today. We've not eaten, so I could eat. So plenty of buffet food. I mean, it's only half eleven, so... Um, we are going to go over and check the queue for Tower of Terror, showing 35 minutes, but we'll see what that's like. Um, but we've got about an hour, just under an hour, before we can go into Avengers Campus, so we're going to see what we can do here at Walt Disney Studios. So, let's go. So we decided to skip Tower of Terror. It went up to 50 minutes, and the queues were all outside, and we thought, this heat? No. So instead, we thought, I know somewhere that's kind of in the shade and usually has a short wait time. Cars road trip. You get to sit down in the shade, watch a waterfall and wish you were in it. <laughs> that's one thing they need here. They need water rides. They need a, a splash mountain or something, or some river rapids. That would be cool. But yeah, that's what we're going on. So here we go. So that was Cara's road trip. Joe's just going to buy himself a gyro, which I'm sure he'll show you in a second. But after that, we're gonna be making our way over to Avengers Campus, because it is almost 12.15, so we can go in, and then we get to eat in Pim's kitchen. So, Joe is a little bit peckish, because I'm not eating anything yet today. I mean, it's now not far off 12 o'clock, and we're, I'm, I'm pretty hungry. So I visited the Greece uh, food booth, which is kind of like just outside Hollywood Tower of Tower. And I have picked myself up a little, I'm guessing it's chicken. It, it usually is chicken, but it's a chicken gyro, or a gyros if you're Greek. And I will show you what it looks like. There you go. That's it. It looks tasty. But it's basically uh, a pizza with um, sunlight. I'm just want to get it in the shit. Uh, yeah. Chicken, uh, tomatoes. Sometimes people put chips in it. A bit of paprika. Sort of. I'm not sure if it's tzatziki. tzatziki. I can't really remember what sauce it is. A um, bit of lettuce. Maybe some cucumber. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite nice. It is tasty. Um, I'm not going to eat it on camera because it probably will fall apart and I will end up wearing it if I do it with one hand. So yeah, I need both hands for this uh, little jobby. So I'm going to crack on. Bonjour. Here we go. Avengers Campus. Haha, back. Ah, back, back, back again. Into the calmness. Into the calmness, yeah. So there's a little merch store here. Got some Avenger Campus t shirts. That's cool. This is the cool Avengers Campus mug that we saw. I love that one. Spider Bot. That's the Iron Man one. 25 euros they were. Was that it? Yeah. That's quite cheap. That is quite cheap. Yeah. 
interactive that one is. So what do these do? I don't know. But yeah, they are different. No, that's the upgrade. Oh, uh, is that the shell that you put yeah. on it? So you need to buy that. Oh, so you buy this one and then you can buy the shells. Yeah. Which are 25 euros. Yeah, so you need to spend Ooh, that's over a one euros. Jeez. Jeez. That is quite a lot, not gonna lie. Um, oh, it's nice coming in here and kind of knowing your bearings. <laughs> kind of know your bearings. So compared to the rest of the park, <laughs> it's pretty dead. It's where you get to meet Ant Mam. Got Pim's lab and Pim's kitchen. Gonna eat in there in a minute. That's cool, that's when he goes big, isn't it? If they're tiny, he throws them and then they... Yeah, they make them massive. Yeah. Spider-Man Web Adventures. Definitely want to do that again. Yeah, I think we should do that. Before I get myself knackered out. Before I get myself knackered out. Yeah, I think... It's, quiet, it's a show in 10 minutes. So, do we do it? Yeah. Let's just do it now. Web slingers, here we go, let's go knacker ourselves out. Bonjour. Oh, this is such a cool ride, I love this ride. I'm not gonna film on it. If you watched our Avengers preview vlog, you would have seen footage from it. But I'm gonna enjoy the ride and knacker myself out because it's tough going it is really like strenuous <laughs> for me at least anyway <laughs> your arms after are like yeah if you imagine Toy Story Mania when you're doing the shooting but you're doing that with your whole arms it's tiring right we're gonna go ride web stingers oh we're going in a different door this time we usually have gone in that one last yesterday and now we're going in this one it's exactly the same. Yeah. I'm going to different web slingers to fight for us. Are you ready to get thrown about a bit? It is time. Let's do this. Ooh. It's hot. This is a good ride. I do love this ride. I'm trying to find bits of shade to walk under as well. It is currently 39 degrees. So it technically feels at least 40. Um, but it has got to go up to 42. So we've got three more degrees to go. Oh dear. Five minutes. But yeah, single riders premier access. Bonjour. Merci. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Do you know what she said? Not a clue. Not a clue. <laughs> I just said always. I think she said, "Are you ready to be an Avenger or something?" Smile and wave. Smile and wave. Smile and nod. It's the Avengers logo. Avengers assemble. It is very nice in here, the aircon is just amazing. Contacting Captain Marvel for a Kree warhead update. Stark, is your life so empty you need to keep calling me for these missile updates? What do you think of her longer hair again? Yeah, I think well, it's better. Well, warheads are closer to you than the last time we spoke. And I'm closer to them. Oh, the aircon is amazing. And... Oh, actually, you can see a launch here. So this is the launch bit. Here we go. This is where they launch. No one's empty, yeah. 
Or is that where you unload? We'll soon see. Oh, here we go. There are people on it. Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. So we've done flight force. That was, it was good, but none of the music was on, so it kind of lost its appeal a bit. It wasn't as good as the one we did yesterday. Um, so we'll have to do that one again, hopefully, and it will have the music going. Um, but we're gonna quickly stop in Stark Factories and grab a drink. Um, and there's also other sections of it that we haven't seen yet. So we wanna have a little look around theming. And then it's time for our reservation at Pim's Kitchen. So we're gonna do a full overview of everything you can eat in Pim's. Buffet style. I am definitely hungry. Yeah. I'm hungry now. So, yeah, let's do that. We come back into Stark's factory. We found Peggy Carter's area. That's cool. Little desk. Your hat. That's cool. <laughs> oh, it's not as cool in here as it was yesterday. That's for sure. Yeah, but it's pretty much the same food that they had yesterday, so that hasn't changed. So we're in Pim's Kitchen, literally in, what is it called? Particle Accelerator. Particle Accelerator, so I'll give you a quick I think little view. Cool. How amazing is this? It's cool. So we're going to go get seated and then uh, we're gonna eat so we've been seated this is so cool so this is like your salt your pepper is that like balsamic vinegar maybe and olive oil in test tubes, in test tubes. you get a little test tube you get a little coloring in You're colouring the whole Pim's kitchen. That's quite cool. It tells you the colours. I'm just give you a little bit idea of where we are. It's cool. And you got a drinks menu, so you can purchase different cocktails. The most expensive cocktail is this one, the cocktail signature, which is 15 euros fifty. Cool. This is cool. So it is a buffet style meal. It's 42 euros per adult. Um, and there is a child's menu as well, but you literally it's all you can eat. So you can get to try absolutely everything. Which I'm hungry. I'm not eating yet. So you get all your bread rolls. Old ideas that they've got. Oh, this looks good. This looks so good. And you have bacon mashed potato. I've never even thought of having bacon and mashed potato. Little mini burgers. And then making pasta for you. Got little mini hot dogs. The giant pretzel. Wow. That is huge. <laughs> that is crazy. You then got some seafood dishes. You have your salmon, prawns. Ooh, I don't know what they are, but we'll try them. Here's your like your Caesar salad and your dressing, melon dressing, vinaigrettes, bread crumbs, bacon bits. Wow, this looks nice. You then have like your cold meats, cold salads. Ooh, like a bit of a pork pie. Here, hamon. You get little mini borsings. What's it? Oh, we've got little desserts. So we'll come back and look at the desserts because there are so many, but I'm getting hungry, so it is time 
to eat. Okay, so I've been up for my first round. So much, yeah, 12, there's so much selection. So I've gone for, this is um, some jambalaya. This was like wheat strips, it was called. I'm not sure what that is, we'll try it. Um, some salmon, um, some barbecue ribs, and this was a sausage and pork kind of corn dog sort of thing, and then a bread roll. So Joe pretty much got similar. You got a burger? Yeah. Oh, burgers were down the other end, weren't they? It was in the middle. Right? Yeah. And our drinks have come. So we've both ordered a Coke. They've come in these like can style glasses. They're quite cool. Ice and lemon. I just want to tuck in, so I'm starving. So back to you in a minute. Yeah, so these are basically corn dogs. I just had a bite. And it's like a Frankfurter sausage inside, wrapped in like a, a fried batter. All good. So we've just had delivered a hot pretzel. It comes. And it kind of, they have it on the stick. <laughs> it's like there. So Joe will like that. That's got like a Frankfurt in. Corn dog. Corn dog, sort of thing. So, yeah. So round one wasn't too bad. The, um, the jambalaya, that was really good. Um, the pork ribs, they were really nice, just fell off the bone. The Corn salmon and the wheat steak, whatever that was, yeah, it was alright, but I wouldn't have it again. Um, if you like salmon, it was either like a lemon vinaigrette, um, but it was okay. Um, the wheat steak thing, weird. It tasted like steak, and then all of a sudden you got this kind of like weird, bland taste. So, wouldn't have that again, but the jambalaya and the barbecue ribs, they were good. Oh, and the corn dog. I like the corn dog. Corn dog was good, yeah. I do like a corn dog. Joe had a burger as well. You liked your burger, didn't you? So I'm I'm done with my first plate. Um, I'm gonna go up for some more because there's so much to, to have. So I wanna try and taste and eat as much as possible. So round two. Okay, so I'm back with round two. Um, because Joe went for like the mini kind of finger food burger style, they got like a giant burger. I mean, you probably could have asked for the whole burger. So. You probably could have asked for the whole burger, but that would have been too much. So I asked for like a small little slice of it. Um, it looks good, but we'll try it and see. I don't know how I'll get on. Um, they got a little mini hot dog, and I got some Caesar salad. Um, they did have these chicken things, which Joe had one of these. He said I wouldn't like it because it's too spicy, so. It's not spicy, well, for you it's too spicy. For me it'd be too spicy, I don't do spice. So I'll, I'll try it, I'll have a little bite, but yeah. I'm trying to balance the fact that that's quite a fatty dish with some salad. <laughs> Wish me luck. Joe's tucking into his chicken. Nice. So I've just been up for my second plate. Ryan's well into your second plate, aren't you? Um, a few similar things, because I did enjoy some of the things the first time around. I'll show you. So I've gone for two more corn dogs, another burger. I went for the hot dog this time. Again, tried to be healthy with some Caesar salad and some cucumber and tomatoes, and some weird blue mayonnaise. I mean, how do you feel about blue mayo, Roy? Right? It's weird. I'm not buying blue colouring. All I can see is this giant pretzel next to her head. I mean, I did start some of it, but yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna tuck in on this, and we will see you in a bit. So round two done. I'm trying to avoid eating all the bread, because the bread is what fills you up. So, that was good. The burger was good, the hot dog was good, the Caesar salad was nice. I love the bacon little bits. But it's time for round three. They have got some funky little soups. I'm not a massive soup fan, but I feel like I need to try it. So, let's go. Okay, round three. I'm trying to be a little bit healthier. Um, this is this is cute. Look at that. Little science, little... What are these called? Like They're like little tumblers, aren't they? But like you just get them in science class. Yeah, Joe's like, I want to take it. Um, 
This has got um, like a it's kind a of a, yeah, like a measuring jug. Um, it's 50 mils. It's like a little gazpacho. That's quite cool. I did have to get some of the blue, the blue mayonnaise that Joe, that looked quite cool. I got some ham and herb, some more Caesar salad, some little nachos. Oh, hello prawny. And then this, which is basically a melon soup. It's cold, but it looks good. So I thought I'll try it. I had to pour it in, but let's give it a go. So Joe's gone straight for desserts. Of course. He's got quite a big selection. I'm a bit jealous. Um, That's like a strawberry. This is what he's got. No, strawberry. So yeah, that's like a strawberry sort of mousse, moussey thing. I don't really know what that is. Like a sponge cake. That's a mini cheesecake. Nice. Yeah. Like a custard tart. And that's a key lime. Key lime. Key lime yeah. tart. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> um. I can't remember what that was called. It's got the little ham. But it's got the little ham on there. So yeah. I was like, yeah, that's cute. That looks like an Oreo kind of. It is an Oreo. It's cookies and cream. It's cookies and cream. With like mm, mini, little mini Oreos. Oreos. Yeah. Look at the little mini Oreos. Yeah. All right, yeah. I'll let you tuck in. And then I'm going for dessert as well. Okay, so I've been up for dessert. It's the colors that get me. I can't help it. I'm drawn to colorful foods. So, here's what I got. <laughs> so to give you a bit of a... I'll, I'll go with these because these stand out the most. This is basically a strawberry coulee. And this, it looks a bit foamy. Can you see? It's blue custard. So, I've got some red velvet cake. It's like a strawberry mousse kind of thing. Cakes. So I've gone for like the red and the blue theme. Can't take them anywhere. It looked pretty. I hope it tastes pretty. <laughs> Let's give it a go. <laughs> Joe's gone for another dessert and it's just like a jelly and he don't know how to get it out. Like... Use your finger. Uh, use your finger, scoop it out with your finger. That's what I do. There you go. Ew. <laughs> Ew. That's it. And then just open your mouth and let it drop in. There you go. It's not dropping in. Oh, you need to unstick it more. Alright, tap it out on the plate and then eat it with your spoon. There you go. There you go. That's how you eat your jelly. <laughs> it's cool though. These should be like, um, they're like little Mickey ears, aren't they? Yeah, I think they're supposed to be like a mini magnum. Mini magnum, yeah. It's cute though. It's good. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed. Because what I thought was a mini magnum sort of thing, like a little ice cream with chocolate cover around it, um, turned out to be something a little bit different. Um, yeah, so I had the jelly and I thought it was a mini magnum, but it's not. It's actually a, like a chocolate covered sponge, but it comes on this tray and obviously it looks like it could just be an ice cream. So yeah, that's what it turned out to be. And it's very like dark chocolate, which I don't mind. But I think cake and dark chocolate, I don't know if I like it. So I don't know if I'll be eating that. Brian's just popped to the loo. I'm going to show him when he gets back, just so he can see, just in case he does think about going over and having one. But yeah. Just so you know, if anybody decides they want to come here and they think about going to get what they think could be a little mini magnum ice cream, it is a, it is a chocolate covered cake, honestly. So we've all finished, we've got the bill. Um, like I said, it was 42 euros per person, per adult. 
So it was 84, four, 84 euros in total. Plus we did get our 10% um, discount for being Magic Plus pass holders. Um, so it was about 65 pounds in English, which I didn't think that bad. For the amount of food that we've eaten, um, I thought that was pretty good. So yeah, happy with that. So that's it. We're going to head back out into the 41 degree heat. How exciting. Yay. Let's go. So these are all the different desserts. Oh, that was like what I had, that was the mousse. Oh, there's a whole one. Ah. So these are all the desserts that you have. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Like a whole strawberry. Nice. Cookies and cream. That's nice. These are all your cheeses. Mm, tiny little ones. Get all your little olive oil, strawberry balsamic vinaigrette. Strawberry and balsamic? Yeah. Virgin pistachio oil, virgin pumpkin oil, balsamic vinegar, nice cheeses, jack pepper cheese. Giant. Giant pretzel. It's the giant burger. That's the... Yeah. It's huge. I'm glad I had a bit of that. Yeah, he's making hot dogs. You got a giant burger. They're carving your burger. Yeah. It's my entrance as you come in. I bet at night it's really cool as well. It really lights up. So Joe's just clocked Josh tomorrow. He's actually here. I'm like, oh my god, it's Josh tomorrow! <laughs> Never actually seen him at Disney, that Florida. Him? That is him, Joe's just Googling. Yeah, it's Josh tomorrow. It is amazing. Mushrooms. Oh, it makes it. That is so Orange. cool. Does it make it bigger? Yeah. Oh, that hints that's why yeah. they do it with the burgers and the that's thing. That's like the whole wasp thing, isn't it? Or is it like the... It could be a little bit. Or it's like the quantum realm. Like, you know when they teleport through the... Oh, yeah. Is it like that? Yeah, they've got so much artwork here. Oh, he's got the cheese. This is mad. It is, it is. I am not looking forward. I can feel it already. The heat. The heat. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> it's hot. Oh my God. That is hot, hot, hot. So yeah, I'm just a little bit starstruck still that we just met Josh. Demario. Demario? Demario. Demario. Tomorrow. 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 Yeah. So we're just a little bit starstruck that we uh, just saw and had our photo taken with Josh tomorrow. He asked us what we thought and uh, he said it's a little bit different to what's in California, Pim's Kitchen. Uh, but we did tell him to have the giant burger and he apparently is going to have that tomorrow night. So yeah, super psyched to have met him. Um, really nice guy. So we are back in the Avengers campus. In 41 degree heat, and yeah, I'm scorching. So we are done with Avengers Campus and Walt Disney Studios today. We are literally, it's 42 degrees now, 42. But are you kidding me? Um, my trainers are melting. So the plan is to go back to the room for a few hours and then come back later this evening when it's cooled down a little and then hit the rise hard. So let's get back to the room. Wow, oh my God, it's hot. We're back in the room. Joe's literally just gone and jumped in the shower. But that was literally <laughs> the hottest it's ever been. It hit 42 degrees and we had to wait like an, an hour, 
it felt there wasn't an hour but it literally took us about an hour to leave Walt Disney Studios to get back to the hotel because there was a bit of a wait with the the hotel shuttle thing so it's tough going um so I'm gonna close the vlog here um because I need to freshen up I'm sweaty don't smell nice so thank you so much for watching we hope you enjoyed watching us at Get Avengers Campus again Pim's Kitchen was amazing the food was brilliant um so much choice and yeah i'm stuffed as well that doesn't help when it's hot um and we saw josh tomorrow that was amazing can't believe joe even clocked him joe was literally like is that someone i recognize that person who is it i was like oh my god it's josh tomorrow and he was so friendly as well and he was just happy to chat and yeah really cool to see him so there you go. So with that said, it's adios from me. Joe would say cheerio. See you next time. Bye.